Okay, so what I thought I'd do is show a little bit of this uh, driver's side floor to show you where my thinking is here. Um, what I've got is a floor panel, obviously. I've got a nice solid sill. Really pretty solid, pretty clean. Um, uh, well, I'll probably get some really dodgy camera work here. Um, you can, oh, there's a light over there. Hang on, let me take that out of there. What you can see is the, the back of the floor, where it meets the rear bulkhead or whatever. Looks pretty good, pretty clean. Uh, there's a little bit going on in the corner here. Nothing too much to worry about. Um, where the cage nuts are for the seat rails is a little bit ropey. Um, this one here, it's really solid. It's just an odd, odd shaped hole, but you can see there's some definite, definite ugly spots here. And same on that side. There's the, the hole, the hole, and there's a ugly spot in between. So I think I'm going to patch these. The driver's side footwell is another story, uh, but I think I'm going to commit to patching these and see how it works out. Anyway, that's a little before shot. I'm going to get going making some panels here, uh, doing some doing some welding and what have you. The other thing I thought I would show you is my dashboard and primer. It's taken about 12 hours for it to dry because, as I say, the weather's been pretty pretty sketchy here. But it's it's in white. Uh, a lot of runs. A lot of ugly spots, but I'll attack that with a tiny little bit of sandpaper and then put a nice coat of gloss white on the back of that. Looks really good actually, <laughs> but that's just a just an added bonus. Um, so floors, floors today, floors tomorrow. Um, hopefully by oh I don't know a few days time, I'll have a good solid floor at the back here and something, some sort of plan for the footwell. Um, I've kind of scuffed it. You can see it doesn't look bad. There's quite a lot of metal. That hole looks good where the the jack thing goes, the jacking point is. You can see it's not terrible, so so I'm gonna try and patch it, see how it do. Okay, so I have started removing panels and uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm nervous or happy or what the hell's going on here. Um, I've, this looked a lot like that, just a little hole. Uh, so what I've tried to do is cut back into good metal. And that's feels pretty good in there and just so you can see, this is the panel that came out of, or the, sorry, getting all confused here. This is the, the little section that came out of there. Uh, so you can see it's cut back into pretty, pretty decent metal. Um, definitely panel thickness, that metal hasn't eroded too far. And you can see all around it, it's pretty good. Um, there's not a lot of problem apart from that rusted hole. So I think I'm going on the right track here, but... If anyone wants to tell me otherwise, please, please do. Um, I, I think this is the thing to do. I, I remember having replaced, I think, a floor on a Spitfire years ago, and it took me about six months to get the door to close. So I'm a little afraid of uh, a little afraid of hauling that floor out, especially if it's just those little patches, same on the other side, and maybe a little bit down in there. Uh, but as I say, if I'm going wrong, please tell me. Okay, so I'm mid, uh, mid repair here, and you can see I've got the first panel welded in. Uh, working on the second, uh, didn't get any blow through, well, maybe one or two little spots of blow through in that one. So, um, welding onto some pretty decent metal. Now, it's not the not the prettiest thing in the world, but you know, get the grinder in there, it'll probably look okay. Not that you'll see it because it'll be under the carpet and under the car, but that's beside the point. Pride in one's work. Uh, so this is the second panel that I'm going to get welded in. Um, I've formed these with a little lip. <laughs> formed these with a little lip so they can sit sit proud. This is obviously very very custom. Uh, so they can sit proud so I can weld it semi semi level with the floor so it looks reasonably okay should anyone ever lift the carpet. Um, so I've got that one, that one, and then yeah, then I'll bring you back to see what they look like. Then I'll need to turn my attention to the footwell. So I thought I'd take a couple of seconds here and show you the sort of way I'm doing this. Um, getting the panel in position, then just literally tacking it in uh, so I can get it held in place without having to worry about fingers or clamps or any of that good stuff. Uh, so that one's tacked in, I'll bring you back when more's done. Okay, for what it's worth, I have those three holes filled now. Uh, yeah, well, a couple of blow throughs on the last little patch. Um, it looks hellish from up here actually. Um, 
so I chased them around a little bit, but yeah, they're full now. Um, you know, it'll do. It'll do. It's not the neatest job. It's probably not the the best fix, but uh, it's a whole lot quicker, easier, um, less impactive. Uh, I don't know. Whatever word you can think of saying, the new floors. Um, I'm gonna turn my attention to and oh, light in the way. And there now, and see what I can do.